Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talks. Hope you're all doing good, keeping safe. Um, now in today's topic, I'm talking about Alexandra Wilson, who is a criminal and family lawyer, who, you know, recently um, was mistaken for a defendant three times in one day at work. And, you know, I was kind of watching her on the news talking about the ordeal in which she encountered on this one particular day. Um, you know, she lodged a complaint um, after being challenged and approached as a defendant by, you know, her security officer, solicitor and a clerk all within, you know, one day of work. Um, you know, she mentioned that on this particular day, you know, she went to a magistrate's court where, you know, um, they don't really wear all the gowns and wigs and stuff. And, you know, on arrival, um, a security officer asked for her name and, you know, started to check it on the list of defendants, which, um, truth be told, uh, I'm not going to, you know, pinpoint the security officer straight away, but maybe it, it, it's an honest mistake. Who knows? Maybe there's something where, you know, you could address and say, oh, yeah, I'm so-and-so, fine, cool, whatever. Um, but, you know, she had to explain to him that, you know, um, she was a barrister. Um, it seems that from there, things are okay. She was, you know, she was able to go in. Um, she then went on to meet her client um, and then she stated that after doing this, she tried to enter the courtroom to discuss the case with the prosecutor. And then she says that it was at this moment that another barrister sitting at the, at the back of the courtroom had told her to go outside and wait to sign in with the usher for her case, um, which she then had to explain again that, you know, she was a barrister and, you know, um, the woman who had made the comment towards her you know, looked embarrassed and said, I see, um, which again is, you know, it, it's not really quite good, in my personal opinion, you know, she shouldn't be, be spoken to in that way anyway, you know, at the end of the day, um, we're all human beings, I, I expect that, you know, most people would like to be treated with the same respect um, that they treat others, and, you know, clearly some people just have no respect and think that, you know, they're above the law and they can talk down to whoever they want, um, you know, and then she said, you know, following all of that, um, she went over to the prosecutor and that the clerk told her to go out of the courtroom and wait for a case, um, which she again had to state she was a defence barrister. Um, she said that all of this, you know, really got her, you know, quite upset all within the one day, which, you know, I completely understand. And, you know, within this um, interview with the BBC, she was telling them, you know, that, you know, she's quite often mistaken for a defendant. Which, in my personal opinion, um, I don't think is right. You know, um, even myself, uh, you know, I'm not a defence barrister or nothing like that. Um, those who know me know that. Um, but, you know, I remember going to court for someone's case, like, probably about four or five years ago. And I might just wait, like, the person whose case I was going for, like, they was um, coming for their case from jail. But I remember I was just going for them for their case so obviously i'm just waiting for the um court to start so i'm waiting outside the courtroom and that i remember like i don't know if it's like a duty solicitor or whoever it was comes to approach and said oh are you so and so and i was just like no like in my head i'm thinking why are you approaching me for i'm not here to defend myself i i got no reason to be here in front of a judge as a defendant like i'm here for something else but you know i could imagine for someone that you know is working within the you know um, the court court system or in the legal system, it must be, you know, annoying to encounter that, you know, frequently and especially that amount of times in that one day, you know, because they probably just really just got her down. Um, you know, I, I think overall that it's a shame that, you know, she's had to encounter all of this. But, you know, I'm glad she spoke up about it because I'm sure there's many other people that's encountered this before in the past and maybe before they didn't really have the voice to speak up about it. I mean, we felt that, oh, if I speak up about it, this might jeopardise um, my career and that. And she's, you know, she's had the courage to speak up about it. Um, and, you know, I think one of the key things she kind of validated within this is that, you know, she showed that, you know, going to court as a defendant um, can be quite bad. At the end of the day, she, she was there going about her day-to-day -day work and, you know, got treated like shit you know, and, and she's a defence barrister. Imagine what that day routine is like 
or someone is coming to court to defend himself. And, you know, I'm not here to, you know, say, oh, well, each defendant's innocent. No, they're not. Clearly, there's people that's out there doing stuff, which, you know, they're guilty and they must be charged for. By the end of the day, um, the way she was spoken to clearly wasn't good enough. It was bang out of order. And, you know... After she lodged a complaint, you know, the acting chief executive of, you know, Her Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Service said that, you know, he's sorry that she's encountered this and, you know, the behaviour's totally unacceptable and he'll be, they'll be doing an investigation into this. And for me, um, I'm not trying to tell the acting chief executive how to do your job, but, you know, maybe not so much to the security officer, she didn't go into much detail about it, but for the other two people and how... Their, her, their approach was to her they need to go on some sort of disciplinary or something because if you if you are a defendant that's here for court that day you know for all for all that defendant they could all be innocent and then they get spoken to a certain way and it's you know it's demonizing and you know it's the de- demoralizing all, all that sort of stuff so you know i'm glad you brought it to light and it's, it's a shame she's had to encounter that and you know i, I think it's overall bang out of order but yeah, I'd be grateful to get your thoughts in it. So, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, go hit that subscribe button now. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.